Today's selection is from Surah 29, Al-Ankabut, or The Spider, verses 14 through 30. These verses tell the stories of how Prophet Noah and Prophet Abraham faced persecution and ridicule for preaching God's word. Prophet Abraham's nephew, Lot, who became a prophet himself, preached the word of God as well. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. We sent Noah to his people, and he lived among them a thousand years less fifty. Then, because of their wrongdoings, the flood overtook them. But we delivered him and all who were in the ark, and we made that ark a sign for the peoples of the world. Likewise, Abraham, when he said to his people, Worship Allah and fear him. This is better for you if you understand. You worship idols besides Allah and fabricate falsehood. In fact, Those whom you worship besides Allah have no power to give you your sustenance. Therefore, seek your sustenance from Allah and worship Him. Give thanks to Him, for to Him you shall be returned. If you deny the message, then so did nations before you. The only duty a messenger has is to deliver Allah's message openly and clearly. Do they not see how Allah originates creation, then repeats its process? Surely it is easy for Allah. Say to them, Travel through the earth and see how Allah originates the creation, then creates the later creation. Surely Allah has power over everything. He punishes whom He wills and shows mercy to whom He pleases. And to Him you shall all be returned back. Neither can you frustrate Him in the heavens or in the earth, nor have you any protector or helper besides Allah. As for those who disbelieve Allah's revelations and deny that they will ever meet Him, they are the ones who shall despair of my mercy, and they are the ones who shall have a painful punishment. The people of Abraham had no answer except to say, Kill him, or burn him. But Allah saved him from the fire when they tried to burn him. Surely in this incident there are signs for those who believe. After coming out from the fire safely, Abraham addressed them, saying, Today you have made idols instead of Allah, a means of affection among yourselves. But remember, on the day of resurrection you shall disown and curse one another. Fire shall be your abode, and you shall have no helper. Witnessing this whole incident, Lot affirmed his belief with Abraham. Finally, Abraham said, I will migrate towards my Lord, or go where my Lord has bidden me. He is the mighty, the wise. We gave him Isaac and Jacob, and placed the prophethood and the book in his progeny. Thus we gave him his reward in this life, and in the hereafter he will surely be among the righteous. When Lot said to his people, Surely you are committing such sexual misconduct as no one in the world has ever attempted before you. Do you lust after males, commit robbery on the highways, and commit evil deeds even in your assemblies? His people had no answer except to say, Bring us the scourge of Allah if you are truthful. Lot prayed, O Lord, help me against this degenerate nation. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.